Okay. Um, I was just having a bit of a look around the uh, around the internet, and there seems to be a few uh, few videos about this uh, Gary McKinnon. Now, uh, for those of you interested in conspiracies, you may recall Gary McKinnon. Um, I think it was quite some time ago, actually. He hacked into the uh, the uh, Department of Defense in America, and he hacked into NASA, and uh, he became a uh, he became quite famous for uh, being able to do that with fairly modest equipment. And uh, I think there's absolutely no doubt uh, that he did that. I mean, the Americans were trying to get him extradited and they really wanted to throw the book at him. They wanted to throw him in jail and um, throw away the key, apparently. Now, uh, I, think, um, I think the main reason for that was that he hacked into the Department of Defence or NASA or these government departments and he left them nasty messages on their computer systems saying, you know, you call this security, you know, oh God, I can break into this with a telephone modem. Um, basically <clears throat> messages that made them uh, feel quite insecure. And uh, they thought, crikey, you know, really what they should have done was thank him, I think, uh, for uh, exposing these, um, uh, these obviously very wide uh, barn doors. Uh, gaping chasms in their uh, security to allow somebody in, in England with a dial-up modem uh, to hack into uh, what must have been sort of fairly sensitive uh, departments. But uh, they sort of relentlessly pursued him. Um, there's absolutely no doubt he did that. Now that said, there is a bit of a there is a bit of a. Uh, his story about this um, finding extraterrestrial officers and uh, the names of ships that he thought were that well he actually said they they weren't naval ships so the impression he's giving is that they are spaceships and they're they're spaceships in the secret space fleet now personally okay there's going to be a secret space program spy satellites and may even be weapons in space who knows what there isn't is manned military spacecraft going around the planets certainly going outside of this star system <laughs> to uh <clears throat> take on aliens that's just uh, absolute nonsense now why i think uh, mr mckinnon's story doesn't stand up in that regard is he said that uh, he made a list of the names of these ships and he researched them and he found that they weren't naval vessels. Yet, when questioned, he can't recall the name of one single ship. Now, does that sound likely to you? Put yourself in Mr McKinnon's shoes. Like a UFO flying through the field of view there. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> can't have that, can we? Good heavens. Be all sorts of people claiming they were on board. Um, <laughs> where was I? Mr McKinnon, Mr McKinnon. Oh, yeah. So, put yourself in Mr McKinnon's shoes. You're a hacker, you've hacked into these sensitive government departments, you'd be as pleased as punch, wouldn't you? You've left them all these nasty messages telling them how bad their security is. Certainly you're not interested in getting anyone's nose put out of joint. <laughs> you come across this, this list of vessels. And you suspect, because you've also found a list of non-terrestrial officers, that this list of vessels is in fact a list of spacecraft names, not the names of naval vessels. So you write these names down. You then research these names. Now, I don't quite know how he did that, because I think um, uh, when he did this, it was some time ago. It, was, it would have been before Google, I think. I should have done a little bit more research, actually, before I did this video. I just thought I'd do a very quick one, because it's getting late. I'm going to go to bed in a minute. Um, and... Uh, so uh, you're Mr McKinnon, you've written down the list of the, the names of these vessels and you've done some research and you've found that uh, they, these are not naval vessels. Now, you would have been looking at the list, presumably it would have taken some time to do this research because you know, the internet, I think, was probably um, in its infancy, infancy if it was around at all. 
Now, don't you think it's a little strange that he doesn't recall the name of one ship? Not one. Not one of these vessels. Now, if you were Mr McKinnon under those circumstances and you'd made the list and you'd done the research, do you think that you would recall the name of one single ship? I think if that was me, I probably would. Um, I would find that interesting, I'd find it exciting, and I think because I found it interesting, interesting and exciting, I would remember at least one name. Depending on how many names are on the list, I might even remember, remember a few of them. So uh, I think um, when it comes to his story, um, I think, uh, yep, no doubt he was a hacker, no doubt that he got into some sensitive areas within the, uh, the American government, no doubt they were trying to get him extradited and they, they wanted to throw him in jail. Where there is significant doubt, I think, is in this uh, secret space fleet and the, um, the spacecraft names part of the story. I think that is an embellishment. And uh, I've not been familiar, not been familiar, overly familiar with uh, Mr. McKinnon's story. I don't know how the original story went, whether the original story included the names of these vessels or whether that's uh, an embellishment that's just got uh, more and more embellished over the years. Anyway, um, just a bit of food for thought and uh, my two bobs worth on the, uh, on the Gary McKinnon story. Um, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll catch you again. <laughs>